Some here are frightened now just to go outside. Now it feels like that whole and section that's doing that. And that's what is just not available to the community asking our local elected anymore. That they so our parks are not available to can't go there. anymore. Search out you and can't give us a there. list of all of the empty you can't go to the parks. New York has changed a lot in the last two years. Migrants from a 4,000 bed shelter nearby fill the sidewalks. They sit on park benches, on stoops and curbs, under the BQE overpass. So many people crowded in here, residents feared what was coming. We have been witnessing the escalation in violence on the street and in the community for months now. We've been pleading with the mayor, um, as we've seen increased violence, that this was gonna be inevitable. And on Sunday night, it came. Two people were murdered here, a third critically injured, just outside one of the two adjacent shelters in Clinton Hill. It is a neighborhood now pleading for help. We have migrants all over the street. They're living on Madison Avenue. I mean, they, it's, nobody can believe what's happened to New York. The people of New York are angry. And the leaf, and the leaf. That's what Residents I came together tonight to demand the city provide more protection for them now and move to downsize the two enormous and crowded migrant shelters in Clinton Hill. There is simply no universe where you can cram 4,000 vulnerable people together safely. Do you believe us now? How many more murders will it take? This video is responsible for the two Sunday night murders. In the video, he appears to be putting a gun in his waistband. The mayor today didn't offer much hope, saying police are looking at a violent Venezuelan street gang as the people behind the shootings. They're extremely dangerous. We're dealing with violent individuals that are not representative of the overwhelming number of people who are coming here um, as migrant and asylum seekers. Let me just be very clear about this. I am opposed to any policy that would deny in our country any human being from access to public safety, public education, or public health, period. I think they're going to vote for me.